Welcome everybody, welcome to our eKids at Home Week 3. We're going to get on with our lesson part 3 today. And like last week, we spoke about how God created the whole world. And do you remember how many days He created it? Exactly, He created it in 6 days. And on the 7th day, He rested, exactly. So we're going to look at today, as one thing that God made extra special. And do you know who I'm talking about? That's right, that's us. God created us people extra special than anything else that He created. And we're going to look at that today. I raise a hallelujah In the presence of my enemies I raise a hallelujah Louder than the unbelief oh, I raise a hallelujah My weapon is a melody I raise a hallelujah Heaven comes to fight for me Cause I'm gonna sing in the middle of this storm Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes, hope will arise Death is defeated, the King is alive Cause I'm gonna sing in the middle of this storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes Hope will arise Death is defeated The King is alive Well, hello everybody, I'm Silly Susie and I'm glad to see you again. Are you ready for this Sunday? I'm in my art studio and when you have an art project, you have a plan in mind. I have some crayons, some markers and some googly eyes. And just like that, when God created you, He also had a plan in mind. He created me with blue hair. What has He created you guys with? So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking cap and listen to Pastor Nadine and I'll see you again next week. So boys and girls, as you heard, this week's big idea is that God created us in His image. Isn't that awesome? I want you to all go and grab a mirror. I've got one right here. And I want you to look in the self in the mirror and see what color hair do you have? What color eyes do you have? What color skin do you have? Do you have some freckles? All of those things. I want you to look. I can see I've got some dark hair. I've got green eyes. And do you know who made me like that? Exactly. God created me to be like this. God chose for me to have green eyes, to be this height, to be exactly the way I'm looking. And you know what, boys and girls, in the Bible it says, God made us fearfully and wonderfully. Isn't that awesome? So no matter what color hair you've got, what color eyes, or how tall or how short you are, God made you just the way you are. And He made us all so special. And I want us to take our Bibles, if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn with me to Genesis, where it says that God made the most wonderful creature of all, a person, us, he made Adam. He was the first person that God made. And God made him Adam. And then on the seventh day, God rested. Exactly. We spoke about that last week. 
and God had planted a beautiful garden for Adam in a place called Eden. Have you ever heard of Eden? Have you ever been to a beautiful garden? I'm sure there must have been the most beautiful flowers, all different colors and shapes and beautiful trees. And a river flowed through the garden. Isn't that beautiful? And Adam loved his new home. And his job was to name all the animals and to care for the garden. Can you imagine naming all the animals? What would you have called an elephant or a zebra or a lion? What name would you have given them? So that was Adam's special task that he had from God. And Adam loved all the animals, but he could not find a friend that was just right for him. So God created a woman. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm sure you've heard about her. Her name was Eve, and she was just right for Adam. Adam and Eve loved each other very much, and, they, and together they took care of God's beautiful garden. Isn't that awesome? God created all of this beautiful planet for us to live in, but also He created us so special and out of His own reflection. It said, God said, let us make a man in our image. Isn't that beautiful? So when you look in the mirror, boys and girls, I want you to take that mirror again. And when you look at it, as that mirror is reflecting you, that is like us. We are reflecting God because we are made in His image. Isn't that awesome? We are made in His image so that we can reflect His love to all the people around us. We are made in His image so that we can have a relationship with Him. He made us so special. He breathed His life into us. So boys and girls, I want you to remember that, that you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made in the image of Christ. So boys and girls, I want you to right now, like we spoke about being a mirror and how a mirror reflects us and how if I look into this mirror, I can see a reflection of myself and how we spoke that we are a reflection of who God is because He created us in His image. I want, let's pretend that I'm a mirror. So whatever actions I do, I want you to reflect it. Do you think you can do that? I'm sure you can. So right, I want you to stand up and pretend that I'm the mirror. So if I go like this, you need to copy me. And if I do this, or if I do this, there you go, boys and girls. I'm sure you did that just right. So let's try our one more funny face. Here we go. There you go. Or well done, boys and girls. So just like that, how you reflected me. That's like a reflection, like a mirror. When we look into a mirror, we see ourselves. And we are a reflection of God because He made us in His image. So boys and girls, doesn't matter what color hair you've got, what color eyes, or how tall or how short you are, God made you special and He made you unique. Just like all of us, if you look at your thumb, all of us have got different thumbprints. Not one person in the whole entire world has a fingerprint just like you. That is when you go, while well, when you go to, when you see your mums and dads maybe going to the bank or to all those special places, they've got to use their thumbprints because that's special and unique to them. Nobody else has a thumbprint just like them and just like you. That's how special and unique God created you. So boys and girls, I want you to stand up and gain. Let us do this week's or this month's memory verse. I'm sure you all know it by now because it's found in, exactly, Romans 3 verse 23. And it says, for we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Exactly. Well done, boys and girls. But before we close off, let us all just close our eyes and thank God for creating us in His image. Father, we thank you for this awesome day. We thank you, Father, for all the things that you've created. And we thank you, Father, for creating us in your image and knowing that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us today. Stay tuned this week as we've got some awesome things planned just for you.